Hi guys, welcome to the Get Tech YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to demonstrate RLC circuits. In the last video, we have completed RC charging circuit simulation. And today, we will make a parallel RLC circuit simulation. Okay, before we get started, I would like to give a little bit information about RLC circuit and um, what, it's, what it is doing in real life. Okay, um, RLC circuits have many applications as oscillator circuits, radio receivers, and television sets use them for tuning to select a narrow frequency range from ambient radio waves. An RLC circuit can be used as a band pass filter, band stop filter, low pass filter, or high pass filter. Anyway, if you are interested, you can deeply make a search about RLC filters. Okay, we are avoiding to give too much technical information here. Okay, let's create, let's get started. I have already opened the software and I have already built the circuit. The circuit is here, everything is uh, arranged, I have given the values, okay, by the way, and TD is time delay, TR is rise time, TF is fall time, PW is pulse width, and this is a uh, V pulse, this is a V pulse uh, voltage source. We have our resistor, uh, C1 capacitor and L1 inductor, the values are uh, given, you have to uh, type those values to your circuits. Okay, everything is ready and let's create a sim new simulation profile and give it the name of the uh, simulation RLC1 and create it. Okay, run to time is gonna be 10 microseconds. It is again a time time domain transient analysis and maximum step size is 0.001. Try to make it uh, so closer, uh, maximum step size. Apply it and click OK. And now everything is ready, we are ready to simulate our simulation. To run your simulation, click F11 or run button from the up toolbar. And simulation graph is opening now. Okay, as you see, there is nothing. But we are going to add a trace to this one. And the trace is gonna be V out. I have given the node name as out. Okay, our graph is ready. Okay, the explanation of this graph is that, as you see, the output is trying to follow the inputs. At the end, the output reaches the steady state value of 0 volts uh, after input becomes 0. And this is RLC circuit graph. And I am saying again, um, we are not giving uh, much details about RLC circuits, um, but um, they are using in radio receivers, television sets, and um, some bandstop filter, bandpass filters, and etc. etc. There are a lot of usage um, of all these cir circuits in real life. Okay, that's enough for today. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you very much.